seconds of the first half. And once again, the Browns are back in front. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Apparently he can't kick either. Sweet! Something really to take into the lockers here. Now after the touchdown, here's... This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Let's get out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you want to win? I don't know. I mean, shit, I got 10 points. All right, one. On first and ten, here's AJ McCarron. He's nowhere to go. Woo! Told you. So Let me throw the ball as my quarterback getting hit. Fumble. As we'll send you down this to fucking game. As we check in with Larry Ridley at our EA Sports halftime report. Larry. Both teams All right, defense. Ahead, Let's keep up what we did in the first half. I'd really appreciate that. Here's the Browns offense now getting Would really appreciate that players. They have the lead now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. Yeah, that worked okay, but in order to get the separation it changed things up a little bit. A lot bit. of points. Your tendencies but I did not score. That's why I'm losing right now. Defense was definitely just that. Did they job. Do, 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 do. Audible King. What's that? Three. Now a play on first down. He's got a man. It's going to get 45. Yep, three hot routes. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, danger zone when you decide to blitz him because. If he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he defense is so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about it was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. That's weird. Because in the first half, can't have that. Space to run to the half, we often think to ourselves, all right, dude, you know what a lot of the adjustments are? No adjustments at all week. They're a little bit better blocking, and now you're establishing the running game. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he takes this for about six down inside the 40. And third quarter here, you've got to let that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football, you stop the clock, and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep moving and keep grinding clock. Come on, front four. I need a push. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was in bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it comes together with the legs in this case the feet did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch and a great job by our crew on the camera shot when you see the cover pellets fly great catch they go play action here on first down going up top and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time and that one was a user pick Woo. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like Woo. this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. You're playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, it's all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. I got mad moral victories out this bitch tonight, boy. I don't give a damn what anybody say. It's McCarron. Deep drop. And he knocks the ball away and it falls in. It was a gamble. His big tight end, Tyler Eifert, the intended receiver. And that can down. Oh. Not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches, as if it's popped up in the air, it's low motion. And ah, shit. Sides, trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good 
or bad for your team. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. It keeps them moving forward. So second down was a run play. Now let's see what they do on third. They come up in an offset eye. Now here's McCarron on third. And in come on. Here on third down. And he's certainly not that's bullshit. That football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. Nigga floated. He's in the middle of but he crosses the body to swing the ball out. And the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. Here is they angle this one out of bounds. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Like the that should have been a fucking cat. Then it should happen. Will they recover? Yes, it did. Yes, it did happen. Ooh. I synced it. Nigga, do a pick. Four picks. Let's go back to what they were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. Four picks. I might lose, but I got a moral victory. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a got a user pick, got an 80 yard run. All afternoon, didn't oh, get a lot there. yeah, Nine yards to I already the won. The first on Don't give a field. damn if I lose. Penny, you cheat any damn line. way. The XP rapist. Now, Hundley. Coleman has it here, right side. Six yards is the pickup, and that will be do, 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 do. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two mm -hmm. and makes it hard to defend. Mm -hmm. oh, nah, I don't. Third down now with the following the completed pass. On the outside, they're playing press coverage. Come on, y'all. Keep this defense up. Hot route, McGee. Got to Oh, switch to the wrong nigga. Why did you switch? Well, they still switch to the trailing man. I understand. Should have waited on pushing that button. It's all gravy. No, I don't want to do that. Set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that. Picking up the first. And now first down following that long game. Let's go. Black round. Black Back to throw. Damn. And it's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And get this line. This nigga miraculously shook two people. Turn his shit. Experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, Ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. Seven yards to go on second down. Ah, come on. Why is he so fast? Because he cheats. He probably collect enough XP to up this nigga's speed. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking the offensive line, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism, a bit of toughness. You got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys mm. in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts. They're smart, they do. Christmas Cincinnati gifts. Cincinnati now ready to take the field, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I know. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look That's a good question. All right, get out of here. Run, McCarron. Why are you so slow? Oh, so yeah.
They come out five wide. Three of them to the right side. McCarron, he's going to put deep right side. And both balls incomplete. And when all else fails, he wasn't defender, supposed to jump. There in the coverage, your best friend <sighs> is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. On third and long, it's McCarron finding time. He's going to try and go deep again. And that was Shit. complete. Had some position. Two hands, Green. On and it brings up fourth down. The Bengals bring out their punter now. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. I know, you've been punting a lot, homeboy. Because I can't produce on offense. Fielded just inside the 30. That'll be a 47-yard punt officially. Woo, a user hit. Mm. The Browns will take over first Another more ten. victory out this Heading piece, out homie. Cleveland offense now as they get set to tear that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense and the head coach. They felt pretty good about things in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And come on. Yardage here to the 31 yard there we go. That's going to go as a loss of two and it'll be second down. And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL. And a lot of that is the speed at the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college, safeties, they moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses. And now we're seeing it in the NFL. Those same guys, similar to that one. Shotgun, he'll look to throw. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45 Damn. yard line. Not at all. Look at the confidence. No, it's the running game that's, that's actually done it to us. Clock on their side instead of <sighs> they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. Down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keep football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're gonna see that loading the box in a big six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and twelve. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Gun. They'll look to throw toward the sideline, and look at that catch, dragging the toes. Ah, hello, man. You're supposed to burn on that one. Gun. He's played a great confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. Because strategy oh. will tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They'll give it to him. Come on. This one down to the 30. Two yards and here they get what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. I'm not kidding, Sack. They'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, 